If you have an old laptop that you're going to throw away, did you know that you can reuse the hard drive? It's easy and it'll save you a lot of money. I'll show you how. Welcome everyone, I'm Mark. This is the Average Me channel. If you're new to the channel, please click my face in the corner to subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell icon up above. That way you'll know when I post new videos. Now what I'm going to show you is not coming from a techie person. I'm just, as the name implies of this channel, an average guy. If I can do this, anybody can do this. Now for years, I have been getting rid of old laptops. Either they've just uh, conked out, they've stopped working, maybe uh, they become obsolete, whatever. And I've always heard from people, be really careful because you have a lot of data on that hard drive. You've made purchases, you have credit card information, you have personal history, all kinds of things that you don't want people getting hold of. Not only that, but you just have documents and maybe videos and all kinds of things you just want to keep. I've been told by people in the past, you have to destroy that hard drive before donating your computer or getting rid of the computer, throwing it away. You should drill holes in it. Well, if you do that, there's no point in donating the computer, right? Smash it with a sledgehammer. I've heard all kinds of things. The truth is, you can remove that hard drive. It's really easy and reuse it as an external drive. Let's take a look at how to do this. So the first thing that you'd have to do is remove the hard drive itself. Turn your computer over, remove all of the screws. Some of these screws may be difficult to find. You might have to peel away stickers. You might have to remove some of the rubber foot pads, but you will find them sometimes in hidden places and just remove the back of the computer. This one was easier than I thought because it did have a removable access panel. And once you get inside, this is what the hard drive looks like. It's about the size of a pack of playing cards, not that thick, but about that size. And here you can see my RAM. Removing this is a pretty simple process. There's probably about four screws. Your hard drive is very likely in a harness of some sort. So you unscrew that harness and unplug the hard drive. As you look at the label, you see a lot of information there. SATA or SATA, not sure how that's pronounced. I'm not an expert, but I do know that means this type of connection where it has a long bar and the short bar. And this is a pretty good memory. It has a terabyte of memory on this particular hard drive. So I could completely erase this and just have that all as backup memory or this can just be kept as is, and it has all the memory and everything I ever did on this computer, and it's just an auxiliary drive. There's only one thing you're going to have to buy. This only costs about eight to 10 bucks online, and that is this encasement. You'll need to buy a SATA hard drive, SATA, SATA, whatever it is, S-A-T-A. -A. It's pretty basic. You will have this connection cable. It's simply USB. And then you'll have this enclosure. And this is what the hard drive that you take out of your computer is going to fit into. That's the case. Okay, it took a little encouragement. Uh, this one did just snap open. And what you'll see here is that same pin design with I don't know how well we can see that, but it's got the long bar over here and the short bar. And that will line up with your long bar and short bar. So all I have to do, oh, now you gotta be careful because this has an encasement around it. I have to take that off first. Okay, that's screwed on the side. So let's take that screw off first. Okay, now my hard drive is ready to fit in there. You see that there are the pins that are shorter and longer and in there are the plugs that are shorter and longer. All I have to do is make sure that that is the alignment, the short and the long. And I'm just going to slide that in place, slide it in so the connection's made just like that. 
And then they give that little piece of foam. That's just to keep it from flopping around in there. And then all I have to do is snap this back in place. Make sure it's going in the right direction. There is a switch there. Oh, let me show that. There's a switch there. There's where USB goes. There's a little light. And I want to make sure that all of that is on this end. So we'll put that in place. On this particular model, I flip this switch here and you see the computer beep to recognize it. This light is turning on. So I know that this hard drive is now being read by my computer. And here I can see all the files that are contained on that drive. And I could click on any one of those and open it up and see what I've got. To format, I'm going to click the drive. Here it's E drive. I'm going to click Format. Then it'll give me some information and ask if I want to format. Yes, I do. So I'll click Start. Then it will give me some warnings. You're going to erase all data on this disk. That's okay with me. Now it's busy formatting this hard drive. And now it says Format Complete. So let's see what's on this drive now. Now when I click this drive, it says this folder is empty. So I can now save to this drive. I can drag and drop and it'll work just like uh, any part of your computer that you save to. So here are a lot of videos I've posted on YouTube and they're on my computer. So I'm going to take one of these. Let's take Fantasyland, Peter Pan, Small World, drag it over here. And you can see that it is copying. Now it's an older drive, so it might take a few seconds. But it is copying it over to the new hard drive, or the old hard drive, depending how you look at it. And there it is. So now I can click. And it will play that video. Now that's saved and being played off of the new hard drive. You can see it working now. Now if you were to order one terabyte of external memory, it might cost, I don't know, $50. And you just got this for maybe a 10 spot for what it costs to buy that case. Not only that, You've not only saved money, but you now have access to all your old files without having to copy them. And even if you did, where would you copy them to? You now have an external drive in which you can back up and copy all those files. I hope that you found this video to be interesting. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell icon. That way you'll know when I post new videos. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm Mark and this is the Average Me Channel. Music